Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about an exciting business model which is called a drop shipment. It's an entire business you can operate online. It's an e-commerce based drop shipping business. How you can start, scale and make a good profit. Absolutely scale it to even a million dollar or a multi-million dollar business. So let's dive into it. Let me share my screen and we will rock and roll here. Okay. So we'll talk about four steps, four uh, steps to start and uh, you know scale your e-commerce uh, dropshipping business. Okay. So um, those of you who do not know what is uh, you know a dropshipping business, let me just explain you very simple terms. A dropshipping business, you will have your own online store. Okay, not a physical store, but it's an online store. Okay. Now, what is a dropshipment? So. So your store, which is online now, it's an e-commerce, so uh, e-commerce is enabled and uh, your customer buys, uh, comes and buys, uh, you know, on your e-commerce store, anything what your customer wants, they pay you the money, then buy it. And once you receive the money, then what happens? Then you place an order with the supplier. Can you imagine this? So drop shipping, that means you are not stocking the products, okay? So as soon as you get the order, okay, uh, from your customer, you got the money first, and then you place an order with the supplier. In this example, let's say you got an order for hundred, uh, sorry, thousand dollars, and then what do you do? Then you place an order with the supplier. Okay, supplier could be anywhere in the world. You place an order with the supplier, and uh, paying let's say seven hundred fifty pounds, absolutely. Then the rest two hundred fifty pound is your profit. But more importantly, yeah, guys, more importantly, what is a drop shipping? So the supplier ships it or drops the products at your customer's place, taking the need of you buying the product and stock it at your premises. So that means the supplier stocks the products at its own warehouses. As soon as you place the order, they will ship it to you. So. That is why dropshipping is a very, very robust and powerful business model where you do not have to buy anything, okay? That means you don't have to buy and stock anything. You are buying definitely, but after you receive the money, you will buy, okay? So that eliminates the need for you to stock a lot of products, okay? Now, it there are pros and cons as well. So what is the pros of uh, dropshipping business? Now, as you can see, it's a low cost, okay? If you want to start any other business, even Amazon FBA, you have to uh, have your own stock. Here, there is no stock needed, okay? So that's a huge advantage of a dropshipping business. And then you can scale it as well because the supplier could be anywhere. Let's say, for example, you have a supply in China. So they have unlimited supply of the products. They, have, they are the manufacturer. So when the, you have a manufacturer, you're placing the order, as many orders as the, you know your customer places, they can fulfill that, okay? So that's that's a good thing, but the bad thing about drop shipping, or what is uh, the drawback of the drop shipping, is in this example of we talking about a supplier in China, if the China shipments you know uh, you know for uh, it to arrive at your place, uh, or your at customer's place. So I'm sorry, it's not your place, but your customer's place where whoever orders the product, it takes around twenty to forty days. That's quite long for a lot of your customers to wait. And that is the reason why your customer may just get in, uh, get online with uh, Amazon, um, you know, uh, maybe a Amazon uh, Prime customer and uh, he can get the, buy the products right away. It may be a bit expensive for him, but the price is a matter. That means if the customer is, you know, um, is a price sensitive. That means they are looking for a product not right away. They do not have the urge to get that product right away, but they can wait for the product. So that drop shipping model is really, you know, good. If the customer cannot wait for the product, okay, so that means they want to satisfy their need right away, then drop shipping, uh, you know, that customer is not the right kind of person for um, you know, drop shipping. That means uh, for him, it would be Amazon um, or Amazon Prime 
kind of you know service where it's instantly in the next day delivery you'll get because you know in this model of drop shipment if the products are getting shipped from another country or from china it will be quite a, a you know, sort of a lengthy process however there are drop shipping companies in the united states as well in europe as well in other countries as well where you know uh, the fulfillment could be done much quicker okay so now what are the four steps sorry this is has to be four steps four steps of uh, you know uh, launching your own e-commerce uh, drop shipping business first step is product research very very important is you want to know what to sell okay so not that every product you can any product you can you can sell so that means you have to part identify what is the kind of a product you are willing to sell online okay second thing is the drop ship platform so that means uh, where to buy it from where are the products available who is willing to drop the products uh, you know for you okay and you can place the order and they will ship it directly to your customer so that is where it comes about where to buy and then third thing is uh, you know where to sell okay you bought the products uh, um, and where do you want to sell the products okay so that means you need a website okay now for for a drop shipping it's first is you know the the selling okay so that means when you process wise when you are uh, you know uh, following uh, or you are selling any product so that means first you sell and then you buy okay uh, which is quite reverse in traditional business where you first buy and then you sell okay so that is the only difference but who so launching your launching your own website because we are talking about e-commerce business okay how do you launch where do you launch so we suggest uh, shopify and it's a e-commerce platform um, where you know they will allow you to with uh, minimum subscription fees you can just get your uh, you know website um, um, uh, online you know you no know, within no time and then woocommerce or ali dropship is uh, or woocommerce with ali dropship okay so we'll talk about this combination as well what is woocommerce what is ali, ali dropship this is a wordpress uh, you know enabled website so that means if you are operating a website on um, and you want to design it yourself and uh, you can uh, have a plugin like uh, ali dropship and you can integrate um, you can have a woocommerce as well a uh, plugin Uh, to uh, receive money from your customer so that's that's possible and then marketing and advertisement as well that's the fourth step where after you uh, know what to sell you uh, sell the products and then you buy the products from your customer but for uh, you know uh, above all you want to know who do i need to sell where do i get the customers from okay how do i get the customer from that is who to sell so how do you identify that so we'll get right away get deep into it okay product research okay that means what to sell is first thing you have to identify how do you know very very simple i i would recommend this tool called drop uh, drop point dot s dot dot site so this is a amazing uh, sort of a website uh, you know where i think it's minimum subscription i think they charge around 5 dollars but you can see trending advertisements okay what is the concept or what is trending advertisements on facebook now you, as you know facebook you must have seen a lot of advertisements as you browse through your facebook uh, you know post you will see a lot of advertisements so who are these advertisements by by different companies who deal with the products for example this is a facebook advertisement okay and uh, you know this is the uh, advertisement by by a company who probably sells uh, this kind of uh, you know um lawn mat or you know a kind of a cushion um so here you can just uh, sit back and relax you know um so it's i think on a, inside a garden tent you can you can put it in as well so now if you see this is when you see that okay there are how many likes one one point Two thousand comments, okay, and seven ninety nine shares. Then you feel like okay, probably there are so many comments and there are so many views, and probably this this thing works. What does that mean? Who what thing works? That means this advertisement works. That means the company who is spending that money in advertisement, paying it to um, you know Facebook uh, Zuckerberg, that means this uh, guy is should be making money otherwise you won't be posting it okay because there are so many engagement as well not only advertisements but you have to see the engagements okay 
uh, uh, is is it uh, responsive are the people reacting to it now you see that's a good good sort of a response from people so now you know that this is probably a market you can get into as well and you can develop your own uh, you know you can white level uh, you know your own uh, um mattress okay garden mattress or tent mattress you know let's just like the one which you see it now so what this company or this website does that means drop point does is they look for these are trending advertisements uh, facebook advertisements and then they will just uh, provide you in if once you take the subscription they will provide you with all the information uh you know like uh, all the ads okay i just saw you see only one ad but uh, multiple ads uh, you know uh, you know it keeps so that's a really good the good one i would suggest to go for that because how do you know the uh, the trending or what is uh, what is in the market or people are looking for is looking at the facebook okay and this is the best way to look at facebook advertisement another thing is instagram posts okay now instagram as you, as you know there are so many so many different pages on instagram who do you need to follow well based on you know whichever field you are thinking of you know getting in you know you can just do a search and on instagram you can you can follow those pages okay second thing is your passion when you are doing a product research that means you are trying to sell something you are um, you want to operate your own e-commerce business so it's always better if you have a passion in that field okay now if the passion could be um, uh, you know made as your profession that means passion could be made as uh, you know the way for you to make money that is nothing like it okay so let's take an example this is an example of uh, you know a youtube page uh, you know um, youtube channel and someone has and let's say is the passion is uh, you know brain food you know talk we talk about brain you know boost brain health with good facts and so this is you know, a person who is fanatic or they they excited about you know the these kind of a brain health so he has a youtube channel okay so what you could do is whichever is whatever is your passion you can pick up a product around it okay and then you can serve it serve it to your already engaged uh, customers or clients or subscribers you can sell it to them and uh, also you can you can sell it outside as well by promoting it okay now the third thing is e-commerce platform okay for example amazon just to give you an example amazon has its own a best seller list i what i would suggest is go for amazon best seller there are different segments there are different best sellers it will give you uh, around 100 different best sellers sorry that means uh, you know in each and every um a department they they will show you 100 best selling items okay so that you get an idea about uh, you know the products which are trending which are you know um hot in the market okay similarly way ebay aliexpress alibaba these are kind of a you know big companies um, you know in china where you know you, you can have business to customer that means you can buy products as a consumer or customer or you can, it's a b2b business model alibaba where you know you can buy and uh, for your own business okay and you can sell it so they are also in aliexpress and alibaba you can see the statistics of how many products been sold from aliexpress so that will give you an indication whether uh, you know this is a trending product or not okay and but of course you have to check in uh, the the competition as well you know however so these are kind of a few ways you can find out you can do your product research uh, to know about what is the product which you are want to get in okay now drop shipping platform let's talk about where exactly you are going to buy it from okay is this products available there so you just have to check that so these are some of the big uh, drop shipping platforms what do i mean by platform that means uh, you know they do not have their own products so the platforms are where other companies store or you know sell their their products okay so one of them a uh, big platform is aliexpress okay so they are kind of platform provider they they source the products or these are kind of a, you know predominantly it's a chinese uh, you know suppliers who list their products there okay but there are other as well sale who wholesaler to be you know 
uh, worldwide brands. So there are so many other uh, you know channels as well, dropshipping platforms as well. But I really, I'm really excited about this AliExpress. Okay. Now let's talk about how do you launch your business? Okay, launching is quite important. Okay, if you are excited now, you say, okay, I want to get started. I want to jump in and start to grow in this business. What do you need to do? Okay. Now, if you want to jump in and want to operate a business, you have two different options. Well, there are maybe more, but I would recommend either to go for Shopify or WordPress a plugin called WooCommerce, a web, WordPress website. Okay, Shopify. Shopify is not a free um, application. It starts with $29 a month. However, really it's a good neat platform as well. So that means, uh, you know, you can just uh, follow the step-by-step -step instruction and you can operate or you can start your own e-commerce Shopify store. Okay. Now Shopify has a few apps, uh, you know, the way it uh, acts is in it integrates. So there are so many plugins or apps, uh, you know, you can, you can connect to your Shopify account. Then Oberlo, if you can see here, Oberlo is one of those apps, okay, which integrates with a drop shipping platform called AliExpress. Now you can see Oberlo, Shopify powered with Oberlo. That means do they charge anything for Oberlo? No, they don't charge anything now. It's completely free. It's I rather it's owned by Shopify. It's Oberlo company. Okay, so they don't charge. And then what you are doing is through Oberlo, you are connecting with AliExpress. Why do you need to collect? Is because from AliExpress, you can get all those products information and the pictures and everything downloaded. Okay, now let's talk about WooCommerce. Okay, what is WooCommerce? As we discussed earlier, WooCommerce is a Microsoft, sorry, is a WordPress plugin. Okay, what is a WordPress? As you know, WordPress is, uh, you know, a website builder. Okay, to develop a website, you can just uh, drag and, uh, you know, without any coding, you can start a business or a you know, website of your own, you know, with WordPress. Okay, so when in a WordPress environment, we connect e-commerce, that becomes WooCommerce. Okay, so that means that's a plugin's name, WooCommerce. Now, along with WooCommerce, in order for you to get started and, you know, get into or uh, connect with AliExpress, then you need a add-on, okay, called Ali Dropship. So $89, it's a one-off payment, okay. Now, I'll leave a link below as well on my YouTube channel. If you go to my YouTube channel, I'll leave a link as well where you can get 25% off on this price as well, okay. If you are looking for early dropship, you know, um, or you are looking for WordPress as an option. Okay. Now the last but not the least is advertisement marketing. Okay. Whatever the product you have, if you are not able to put it in front of people, nobody would buy the products. Okay. So that's the reason why we have few, uh, uh, you know, um, marketing advertising model. One is called Facebook advertisement, as we have seen be before. Okay, this is quite powerful. Second is influencer marketing. What is influencer marketing? Influencer marketing means getting hold of few, uh, you know, people who have some good followings. Okay, not into millions, but I would suggest anything, you know, around 100,000 is, is good. Okay. So influencer marketing, what, how do you do influencer marketing? You just connect with the influencer and ask them, hey, you know, do you want to give a, a shout out uh, for me for this product I have and how much do you charge? Okay, so that's also a very economical way as of, uh, you know, you marketing um, uh, the products, okay? And then the Google ad. Google ads, you know, you can run your Google ad. Somebody is looking for that specific product, you know, that will come up in your ad. Okay, so these are the few different ways you can, um, these are four different ways you can operate, scale your um, drop shipping business. Hope it made sense to you and uh, don't forget to comment and uh, let me know how uh, you know we can improve and what exactly you want to be covered. Okay, with that I am done and over and out.